Hey guys, what's up? What's up, man? I just want to say to you that the world is in a five o'clock rush. And Babylon is here with its confusion and such. Wars and rumors are at their peaks. Woe to the man who's still asleep. On October the 19th, which is this month, I was reading the book of Jeremiah. And while reading the book of Jeremiah, there was a flash before my eyes. And I felt within that space of time, a great shaking. I felt it. And I saw destruction in capital city, Kingston, St. Vincent. Now, I'm not a prophet or a pastor, so I'm not going to go through what that means because earthquakes in the spiritual realm have many different meanings. As a matter of fact, in scriptures, earthquakes are mentioned as tokens of God's power. And if you go through the book of Job, you'll see that and of his presence and of his anger with the nation. So I'll leave that as it is. But what was very strange about this flash that I saw, this is the area that had the most damage. And this area of Kingston is called the reclamation site. It had the most damage the passage after the, the passage earthquake that I felt and the destruction I saw. But what was very interesting is that that building that is right there, the highest one in the photo you see, and it's called the financial complex in Kingston. That building was the one that suffered the most destruction paper. I mean, it just folded up and crumbled to the ground. Others sustained damages, but that building got the most. Now, as I said, I am not going to tell you what that means because I cannot tell you. He has not spoken to me as to what it means. I will continue to listen to his voice to get the meaning of that. But as of now, that was October the 19th and I decided to wait until today to bring it to you as a community. I also want to speak to you about something in the book of Matthew 24, 6 and talks about you will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see that ye are not alarmed because such things must happen, but the end is still to come. That's what the most High says in his words, right? Today, I notice in the news that World War III has already begun. Now, this guy typically pays close attention to the workings of the financial markets and the Federal Reserve, but his most important concern is geopolitics. And he said, the economic outlook is steady compared to the geopolitical situation we face, he told an audience last Thursday. He lamented that the wars in Ukraine and the Middle East and the growing cooperation between the US adversaries, including Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran. They're clearly talking about dismantling the system set in place by the US and its allies after World War II which demand credits as spawning an era of unprecedented global economic growth. He says the risk is extraordinary. He said, World War III has already begun. You already have battles on the ground being coordinated in multiple countries. I think when these guys say these things, I'm not surprised because I know it will happen, but it's good to hear them saying these things. As in, they're seeing many things that a lot of us who should know are not seeing. He said that the risk management teams at his bank have run scenarios that will shock you in terms of the possible economic implications of the global conflict that spirals out of control. Well, we know what can happen if the global conflict spirals out of control. And they keep going back to the nuclear proliferation. That's one reason why JP Morgan Chase chief executive said Thursday that nuclear proliferation, the biggest risk mankind faces even ahead of what they call climate change. And also today, I noted that NATO is saying that North Korean troops have been sent to Russia. It means that he is correct and that World War III is already on the way. 
NATO Secretary General Mark Rutte on Monday told a media briefing there were North Korean troops in Russia. I understand from another media outlet in South Korea that there are about 5,000 troops from North Korea already on the border of Ukraine. Today, I can confirm that North Korean troops have been sent to Russia and that North Korean military units have been deployed to the Kherson region. He said this represented a significant escalation in Pyongyang's involvement in the conflict and mark a dangerous expansion of Russia's war. Ukrainian forces launched a major offensive in the Kursk region in August and managed to capture large swaths of territory in a surprise offensive. The deepening military cooperation between Russia and North Korea is a threat to both Indo-Pacific and Euro-Atlantic security, he told the briefing. This is significant for many reasons. It means that we are already in World War III, no matter what people are saying. There are many conflicts going on right now. Tempers are flaring all over the world. This is the worst election in the U.S. we've ever seen. We hope it's finished very soon and that someone will emerge a victor and can settle down to doing business again. But all in the Caribbean, we are seeing it as well. A lot of upheaval are happening in terms of the political landscape. We saw what happened recently between Venezuela and Guyana. The tempers were flaring. Thankfully, we got that sorted out for a while. We hope it remains that way. But there are many, many things happen. And I want to say to you again, as I said in the beginning, that the world is in a five o'clock rush. Babylon is here with its confusion and such. Wars and rumors are at their peaks. Woe to the man who is still asleep. Wake up, my people. Wake up. Until next time, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell.